and welcome to Organized Chaos. Now with this scammer, he really wanted me to try to believe his story. But once I started to pick it apart, that's when he actually lost it. Now remember, if you like the video and you like the content, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And click the link down below to sign up for my newsletter. And please, share this video with any of your family and friends, especially if they're elderly. That way we can try to get the word out to as many people as possible and try to limit the number of victims we actually have. And now, on to the call. American Cash Awards, how are you doing? Uh, yes, hi. I received a voicemail saying that I had won some kind of prize and to call this number to speak with an agent to try to claim. Um, do you know anything about this? Uh, yes, ma'am. Now, who am I speaking with at this time? Uh, my name is Tim Smith. Okay. Now, you said you received a call regarding your $5.5 million. Uh, for how much? Five point. $5 million. Congratulations. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I, oh my God, I won $5 million. Now, uh, are you able to grab yourself a clean sheet of paper and a good writing pen? Okay, go ahead. Now, uh, the first thing that you're going to be writing down is the American Cash Award. Now, uh, you're also going to be receiving a brand new 2023 Mercedes Benz GLE 400. All right. Uh, so I'm getting a new car. A brand new 2023 Mercedes Benz GLE 400, right? Oh my God, that's amazing. That is a nice car, I think. Of course it is. Now remember the registration and everything awaits because we need to have you re be registered as a certified winner. That means you're going to be in the system and we would be able to provide all the letters that we're going to possibly need. Okay? Okay. Right. Remember, as a winner, you have to have something legal to say yes. You are who you are, correct? Uh, true. But can't I do that with my, like, driver's license right. and social security card? Well, yes, we're going to need that to approve that. But we, you're going to need a letter. What's going to happen is that we're going to be providing you with all the letters that you're supposed to see. Now, it's not all in one letter, okay? Okay. It's four documents separated, okay? Okay. I'm going to ask some questions. Just try to answer them to the best of your ability. Okay. Now, the first question, are you an American citizen? Yes, I am. So you live by yourself? Yes. Now, what's going to happen is the registration fee, there is an amount of 27000 that's going to be paid to the IRS. Okay? Uh, 27000 that that right. needs to be paid? Right. You're going to be going to the IRS office. Normally, they would ask you the questions. You should answer all the questions, and then they should be able to answer the first piece of the letter. Now, remember, any payment that is made out to the IRS will be coming straight back out of the check, out of the 37% that's required. So, by the end of the day, you're told do not throw any receipts away. Okay. Because that's how you're going to be getting a refund. You're going to be introduced to a certified public accountant who will be working hand in hand with us to provide you with all the letters that you're going to be needing. So that's the same guy or lady that we are going to be getting all the advice from, from the IRS. They will make sure you get all the right information so you won't have to worry or wonder what's the next move. Okay? Okay. Right. So this 27000 whatever is required, it goes to a certified public accountant. A certified public accountant is held responsible. They are going to be responsible. You won't have to worry. 
So how we're going to do this now, let me gain information. And how did you say you'd be able to handle the 27000 by writing a check to the IRS, right? Yeah, I can do a check. That's fine. Uh, would it be a cashier's okay. check? Certified cashier's check, or I'm uh, not sure if they'd be able to access a, a wire transfer. I'm not sure. I don't know. All right, so hold on just a second. Let me gain the information, and I'm going to provide it. Don't hang up. Okay. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Now, the name that I, I'm waiting on the information, they're going to be sending me an email. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. So it's here now. Now, the name is Patricia. Now, what I'm hearing now is that as soon as I'm, I, I did talk to the agent, while talking, I, as I recognized his voice, I realized that it's one of the CPAs that I'm familiar with. All righty. Now, what's the amount you said you're going to be able to handle the registration fee for? Uh, for, this, said, there are two. for this first payment, I could probably do 5000 So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure that every single thing you're supposed to get, you're going to see every type of detail on it for yourself. We're going to go through the letters together and then, well, you have my office number, so you can call me at any time because remember, we're giving to you all the details. So any information at all that I get, I'm not going to hesitate to call you. I'm going to make sure you're the first person who knows so you're not left in the dark. Oh, thank you so much. So at this time, what time is it now, dear? Uh, it is 2.45. All right. And what time is the bank closed? Uh, usually about 6.30. All right, so you said you'd be able to make it to the bank and back? Uh, yeah, I should be able to. Okay, so I'll go down, I'll run over to the bank, and I'll get this cashier's check, and uh, when I get home, I'll call you back, okay? All righty. Uh, <clears throat> are you able to send it? You said you're able to have it sent next day mail, right? Uh, I can. Uh, where? How would I be sending it? How are you able to have it sent? Through the mail? Is that possible? No problem. Now, once it's sent, I'm going to try and see if I can gain access to the letter. So as soon as you're home, we can get the documents and we can go through it. That's how swiftly I want for you to see some information. Okay, not a problem. So I'll go to the bank and get this cashier's right. check. I'll run over to the post office and mail it out to Patricia. And then when I get home, I'll call you back. All right. Remember, keep your business strictly confidential. Not a problem. Hello? Uh, hey, John, it's uh, Tim Smith. We spoke earlier. Okay. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Well, I, I think I'm okay. Um, there was a problem when I tried to mail off that check. What was the issue? Uh well the the uh post office said that that address is denied for some reason. Okay. And I I don't know what to do and I I'm kind of freaking out. Or uh, well maybe there was something that was wrong or I'm not sure. What's Here's that? what. Maybe it's the it's the UPS. Did you try FedEx? Uh the FedEx is closed. And, and what about the UPS store? Uh, we don't have a UPS store in my city. Is there maybe another contact I could use or um, a different way I could do this? Okay, you said you, 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 you already got the certified check in that name? Yeah, yeah. There, that's the CPA that's been assigned to you. I'm not sure what's the issue that's going on, but what I'm going to do... You said, what time is the FedEx closed? Uh, it closed today at like 2 o'clock. Oh, okay. And it's 4 o'clock now. Be, okay, you think they'll be open tomorrow? Uh, maybe I could try. Um, am I supposed to try to send it to uh, Patricia again? Uh, here's what I can do. Let me try and get a hold of them. They're the ones who can give me the best advice. So hold on. Let me get an address. And I'm going to see what the issue or what was the holdup, if I left something off or was there an issue, all right? 
Okay, hello. Hello. Okay, so I've been provided with the information. There's two CPAs that's going to be working together. So they're going to try find out if I, if I had left anything off. I gave them the detail. And they're going to be checking it. But they're going to give me another CPA. You don't have to change the check because it's the same company. It's the IRS. They're going to direct it to this agent. Oh, okay. So that's the good news. You don't have to go back to the bank to try and change it or not. Okay, so I'm going to give it to the, still send it to Patricia, right? Yes, you can still send it to Patricia. Okay. But what I'm saying, we're going to do it at the FedEx tomorrow, okay? Okay, is there, and what if they tell me that it's denied as well? All right, here's what I can do then. I can get the other CPA that they're working with, and I give you that address. Okay, yeah, that. We we could try another one. I'm fine with that. Well, I'm going to have to wait on that information. I did explain that to them. It's the, same, it's the IRS, so the, the check has to go to the CPA, and she is assigned under the, the legal right that she is assigned to the tax and the payroll. I don't know how much we're going to be getting involved. It's a bigger tax bracket. So we want to know that someone who knows about the big amount is involved with what we're doing. Okay. There's thirty seven percent of the taxes that is going to the IRS. And I want to make sure that someone is going to be there to help when we're not there. Someone who knows about what we're talking about because there are some things you're gonna you're gonna call us about when the delivery is over and these things are continually going to happen until that CPA catches on. So let me see if I can call them and then get this information so you can get this out of the way, and then we get the documents. What do you say about that? Uh, I like that very much. I'll take that down, and I'll see what uh, we can do. Uh, should I contact you tomorrow? Contact me as soon as you're in so we can get the documents because we're going to go over it. I'm sitting in my office right now and I'm basically waiting on you. Okay, so not a problem. Talk through the letter. Okay. All right, so inform me. How long do you think it's going to take for you to go to the post office and back? Uh, oh, you want me to try again with the post office? Yes. Uh, give me like half an hour and I can call you back. All right, here. Okay. So if it doesn't, yes, yes. So we have plan A and plan B. If this doesn't work tomorrow in the morning, we try the FedEx. Okay. okay. Not a problem. All right, here. All right, call me when you're back. Okay, goodbye. Uh, yes, yeah. hello? So what I'm going to do now, you said you're able to do the entire wire transfer. Yes. I'm looking for the letter the information they sent. So you're saying to me it's not going to be a problem for you to get the check cashed back in? Oh, I already did that. Oh, you just did it? Yeah. And you get the cash back? Yeah, yeah, I was able, you were right, I was able to do it. I have the cash in hand right now sitting in my car in front of the bank. Oh, you're right in front of the bank. Well, yeah, you said that it would be a wire transfer with my bank. And so I figured, well, I go to my bank, I cash out the money, so I'd have the cash in hand, and I was going to wait in my car in front of the bank for when uh, you called me back with the information. All right, because looking here, but I'm not finding that information. All right, give me just another second, please. Let me have them call me, call, send it back, all right? Now, are you sure? Because this is starting to be like a huge runaround, and this is really starting to irritate me oh, with having here, to, here. No. you know, hey, here. go here, go there. Around. If this doesn't work, do this. Now go back to the bank, cash out, cash out the, the, the check, and then now we're going to try this way. Is there? something like I could go online to be able to do this, it'd be a lot easier to be able to just, you know, get a website, go to that website, and make this payment. Even if you have online banking, you should be able to do 
a wire transfer from the online banking to. Well, yes, I under I understand I should be able to do that, but my uh, my thing is, is can I get a website that I can go to that I can just make this payment to, so we can have this done and over with, like you know, the, your company website you. or the IRS or something like that. I understand, but remember, this is not your regular income tax or your regular state tax. So basically, we're trying to get you in the system so the next time you're able to access it from the IRS website. That's what I've been trying to tell you all along. Okay, yeah, and I understand that. But no, I understand that, understand. but you're trying, you're having me go to, I've gone to like four different locations trying to do this but when this we could be here. able to just get this done with, and you promised me you were going to send me paperwork, and I have yet to still get that paperwork. I feel like you're making because a lot of promises, not, and you're not following through here. with any of them, and it's starting to really get irritating with it. There, I understand you're in a frustrating spot. I am in a frustrating spot. I told you you were going to get the letter as soon as you're registered. Okay, Remember, no, you said you were going to send me this paperwork TV. so we could go over it together. We have yet to, I have yet to receive any paperwork from you saying, going over Mr. all the details and everything of this. And you've had me go we're now gonna, to five different locations. I understand. And I'm going to get all of this. I promise you that. Okay. I promise you that. I'm going to get all of this cleared up. All right? Okay, so you, you're saying you're going to get all of this cleared up, but it should have been cleared up as soon as I called called you the first time. Because I was To make sure that all of this is good I and in order. I and I don't... I, all I mean, you're part of this company. You should be able to have protocols in place yeah, for when this, let, let me talk for a minute. Can I so talk that for when a all of this is be able to be done with Can I we, talk for we a know hey Can I talk for a plan here? a didn't work plan b didn't work let's do this let's just send him here and be able to get it done and over with and i talk for a minute now i uh, i guess remember you were supposed to be registered on and I told you, call me back. You didn't call me back in the evening. And I was calling you in the evening. I called you all day yesterday. And you didn't return my call. I'm now, sorry remember, that I have a life and I have oh, other no, things that I need to get done just with. Let, let and that's not here. my fault here. with it, okay? Just I'm trying to that. be able to get this done. If I didn't care, if I thought this was... Some, you were trying to run me around in circles, I wouldn't have called back at all. But I have done all everything right, let me back. get a chance to talk. Just let me get a chance to talk. Now remember, I did not get the email address from you because you were supposed to call me back. Yeah, and you were remember supposed to get my email address. Email. How are you going to be sending me documents if you didn't even have my email? You promised me the first because time we talked that I was going back. to be able to that I was going to be able to get yesterday. that documentation. Here, you cannot talk when I'm talking. If you're talking and I'm talking, how are we going to get somewhere? Well, I mean, if if I'm talking and you're talking, we should be able to have a conversation. Because I'm trying to say something. I'm trying to say something, and here you don't you don't even want to give me a chance to talk. I am giving you a chance to talk. I'm trying to give you a chance to explain no, yourself is, on why I haven't been able to be able to get registered and why I don't even have this documentation from in my email that you promised me. If you were picking up, I would you would have been having an email already. You did not pick up on that evening. I I don't know if you were busy. I figured you were busy and you were going to call me back yesterday. I called all day yesterday, and I didn't get an answer. Okay, but we this is like the third time we've talked on the phone after going through stuff. And I would think that you'd go through and actually, you know, try to get my email and be able to send me this documentation. That's three different chances now. Here, all right, here's what. We're going to get the information to you no later than today, all right? No, I, no, I, I want it now it. so that I, I want it now and the next like five minutes so that I can be able to see this prize. 
dear, I can get you your letter, but it's not, that's not how things work. That is not how things work. Okay. I keep on telling you, you have to be registered. When you're registered... Okay, but what does the registration have to do with my email and getting those documentation? All right. right. What does that have to do have with them when you, you could just send me the documentation and have it done and over with? But instead, now we're going on day three where I have no documentation. All right, here's what we're going to do. Give me the email address. My email address is we have great cats at gmail.com. And we don't want any mistakes. Proper spelling of the first and the last name is Smith. All right? Tim Smith. Now, wh why do you need to know how to spell my name when this documentation should already okay, have my information on it? My information file. should we already have, have, have... We need to have the proper spelling when we're And my account should already have my email address on it. I remember All filling right, out my email for it. And then I'm get the my, right. When I signed up for this program, I submitted my email address when I submit it, so I don't understand why you didn't have it to begin with. Hold on a second. I'm on the other line. Hold no, on. Hold no, on. explain to me why. Okay, so... Okay, so now, you're now that you're back... Now... Hey, now that you're back, when I when I signed up for this program, I submitted my email address. Why is it not already in my file? I'm on the other line. Hold on a second. Okay, so they're looking for the information. He said he found it, so they're going to be sending it within the next two minutes or so. All right. Okay, so can you explain to me why uh, you were needing my email address when I submitted my email address when I entered into the program? Because, because, because that should all be here. in my file and everything, so you should already yeah. have it. Ms. Smith, I do not want to argue over this one. Please okay, but... Have. But you said that you were you're not in the office, right? You said that. My office line is connected to my cell phone. Okay, but you said know. that yes, this so line was always home, to your office and that you were in the yes, office when I called this line. Phone. So if I if you're how am I talking to you if you're not in the office? Dear, the line is connected to my cellular phone. I just said that. Time. Okay, this then and then if you're looking at my phone. file, when I submitted my application, I put my address. What address do you have for me? I'm gonna have to check it. That's what I keep saying. I'm gonna. But have it to should be right in front of you. My file should check. be right in front of you, so I don't understand what the problem is. I was in front of your file the other day. I'm not in front of the file now. I but if I'm a winner, I should be priority and be able to be right in front of you and you should be able to have all my information. If anything, you should be able to look it up on your computer. Dear, the letter is there. Let's, I am going to provide you with your address. That's not an issue. Okay, so Let's what is my address? The and then we can go over all of that. Okay, so I what is my address? I do not have it. Do you want me to tell lies? But you just said that you were going to provide it. So what is it? Honestly, I realize you have an arguing problem. You love to argue over the phone. And no, I don't. To have that with you today. I so don't have love. A good day, I don't love to I argue. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out what is going on so I can be able to get my money, you and you're preventing me today. from it by having me do all this stupid little runaround. Okay. First, it was go to the bank, and then go to the post office and, and then go fault. go it's back to the post fault. office the and then go to like FedEx. Now go back to the bank. Gone. How okay. can I control the post office? I gave you a simple address. Oh, my You're God. having me run all over town to be able to do this when it should be something as simple as, hey, make this payment. You're done. You're registered. Let's get going. I mean, I don't understand what all this issue is. I don't understand what issue they have at the post office, and we're trying to do a wire transfer. Okay, you have, have but that the chance to move further. I'm trying to let you move further, but you're not answering my questions. Okay. 
and I said I don't have your information in, in front of me. And I'm not we've been talking for about half an hour. No, we've I been talking for about half an hour. I How is it that in that half hour you have not been able to find my information? I've been upset that How is I'm that? Right now because listen to me. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. I no. have a meeting I have to go into. No, right. no, what is so going on? Because I'll talk to you, later. you right. said that you were going to, we've talked for half an hour. Why haven't you been able to find my file in that half hour? 